This is a story of the day in the life of Hanover Street Primary, a vibrant and busy city centre school. It has been that way for over 100 years. The granite Victorian building is beautiful but now needs to be brought up to date and we will leave our school for a short time. Watch and enjoy as the story unfolds. of the community and everybody knows us and I think when we leave here people will miss us for a short time but then when we come back it'll be bigger and better and we'll continue to be the heart of the community. Most mornings Mrs Maitland arrives with style swishing through school gate with her black coat, scarf and full to bursting briefcase at 6.30 a.m. It is so early, it's unbelievable. She opens the school and likes to prepare for the day ahead. Staff arrive around 8. They too need to get ready for the day ahead. favourite place in the school is where we all get together for assembly and we hear what's going on and we celebrate birthdays and we have a good time together. Happy birthday, Freddie was excited because he'd never been before and I felt very much at hand because everybody was so kind and, and The children expected to work hard in class. In primary three, the children are working hard on their maths. Primary two are doing the same. It is not only the children who work hard, the staff have to work hard too, especially Mrs. Maitland. She has lots of important meetings every day. And then I'll talk about um, how how much work is done by the parents in school and how they help the boys and girls and the staff. Okay, so that'll mm -hmm. do the introduction. Okay, right. And then My favourite place in school is the office because that's where I work and the staff room because that's where I meet my friends. Okay, what's your number, Pat? Eight. Hello. Hi. Uh -huh. Thank you. Can I get you the same for the number four there, please? Okay. Uh -huh. Seven four. Okay then. Okay, thank you. Bye. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. After a hard morning's work, the children get to have fun outside. Eating chocolate, crisps and sweets. Hmm, very healthy. All good things must end and the classes go inside. Thank you. 
world. Go and build a house for yourself. A few women on the day. The best place has to be the nursery. Working in the nursery. The children come in so happy to see you and it's a lovely place. And that's what I like. In the nursery, it's a snack time, and Mrs. Cummings is entertaining the children with her singing. She has a wide rapid to her from Daniel O'Donnell to Jimmy Shand. The children continue to smile. After snack, they might get a story from the story apron. Or they might get to play outside. I'm going to miss the well. In the upper classes, the children are working hard too, either in the classroom or the ICT suite. Primary six are working hard for once. the art store which is a rather strange place to be my favourite place but it's a lovely open store it's got lots of lovely papers and art materials and really exciting things and it's got fantastic views out the window that's one of the most lovely things about the school that you can see the sea you can see the castle gate you can look up king street you can look into the boulevard and every window you look out you get a different view of the surrounding environment The school was at the park lunch area where I used to help with me and Mrs. Swift doing duties there at lunchtime. I thought it was very encouraging to meet with the children and have jokes with them, and I, I have fond memories of that very much. Thank you. 
school dinners weren't always liked by everyone, but the dinner ladies are lovely and try their best to make us smile, despite the food. Sometimes we make too much noise, but Mrs. Smith is nice and relaxed and keeps us in order. children were running about mad, screaming. I was petrified. I had to fight my way through all these children to get to the front door. But I've since found out you're all lovely. You're not as scary as you first seemed. This is It's important for the community because streets without the sound of children's voices are very, very quiet. And a community that's got a school in it is a community that's lively. Time to line up. Better go inside and do some work now. Oh, do I have to? Often the different buddy classes meet up in the afternoon for buddy reading. The nursery enjoy coming to see their friends in primary four. Andy the janitor tries his best to keep the playground spick and span. My favourite memory at Hanover Street is just last week when the Hanover Street lacrosse team um, performed in the pop lacrosse tournament and they came third in two tournaments um, having only had about five lessons. So they were very Street School is important because it's a school where people are welcome, where they're happy and where they have fun learning. The day is almost done. Parents wait for their children to come out and make their journey home. And it's been a fun day. People have lots of new things to learn and it will always be like that.
because it's where I've had the best education of my life and met all my best friends. Because it's the centre of the community. It brings people together and everyone's happy at the school and when they go out they portray that to the public and that's good. What a day. What a school. Well, I just hope it will go on as it was before. It's a big disruption having to leave your school and go to another one for a period of time. And I'm sure when you do come back, you'll be delighted to be back here. And the, apparently there are going to be a lot of improvements in the building. But if you still got the same group of teachers, it won't need improving. That will be fine. Ah!